time, we would like to thank Mr. Wayne Barrow for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Wayne, uh, this film blew. Yeah. Um, you're you're uh, awfully fresh off some other successes and some other endeavors. And um, Blue is a, a, a story that everyone can relate to. Um, how did this film, when you saw it yourself, how did it imp impact you to inspire you to, mi to make you be a part of it? Um, the acting, the story. Okay. Um, the depth of the characters in terms of how deep they went to kind of deliver um, the message. Um, I think there was, um, there's so many different levels to the story that had to be catapulted and you can't do that without some great acting. Um, different dynamics in terms of relationships, love, trust, uh, understanding, compassion, um, deliverance, redemption. Um, to me, it's, the, it's a story that um, makes people understand more about character in oneself than anything else. You know what I mean? And um, so when you, when you came on board uh, for the film, um, at, at which stage uh, was the film in the production process? Oh, the film was already shot. Okay. Uh, they had already uh, you know, did what they needed to do from a production standpoint. And when I saw the film, I actually, Malik, Charles, Charles, Charles Wilkinson, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's my guy. Okay. He, uh, <laughs> he actually played me in Notorious. Okay. And um, he and I were having a conversation one day about the product that he was working on. Sure. And he wanted me to you know, meet Don. And when I met with Don Wallace, it's like, it, he just has this spirit, this, this, this level of inspiration that he kind of brings to you, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's just, it's vibrant, you right. know what I'm saying? So uh, we sat down, we talked for a little while, and then uh, finally I came and I watched the film. And then watching the film, sitting there watching it, it made me feel all the things that I stated. But I felt there were a lot of holes okay. in terms of how the story was being told based on the cut that they already had. Sure. Okay. So uh, my thing to Don at that point was I gave him an overview blanket of what I felt. This is my personal opinion. Now, you know, what you do with it is totally up to you. But, you know what I'm saying, from a professional standpoint, I thought that things could have been elevated okay. in the story and that it could have flowed a little bit more energetic and, and, and given more depth to some of the characters that are already there, but really kind of join those and, and make it come together as one, kind of synergize the overall emotions across the board. And when I kind of laid those things out to him, it was things that were already in his mind and in his heart. And I don't think that at that point, he knew exactly where, where he wanted to go and who he wanted to help him deliver it. Okay. So that's how things, you know what I'm saying, kind of came together. Right, right. And, and, and your involvement goes that next level boost. That um, I mean, if you want to look at it like that, yeah. I, um, you know, I I, I can't take credit for what was shot. Sure. All I can take credit for is what I can bring to the table in terms of what you know. Saying my vision is based on what I've seen. Uh, I think they did a wonderful job in terms of delivering what they delivered. Yes. Um, but sometimes you got to step away from things to allow others to come in and kind of give you a different nudge. Like, hey, well, what if you tried this? Sure. If you tried that, maybe you would get this type sure. of reaction. Sure. Uh, and he was open enough to understand that that's something that he needed. Yeah. And I think that's the one thing that got us to a place of saying, hey, Wayne, why don't you come on board as a producer? Yeah. And you know, from that angle, that's where we are. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I, I think that um, in terms of the, the, the story itself, when you look at the story, that story, it reflects people from the East Coast, West Coast, South, North. Um, in terms of hitting home for, for Wayne Barrow, mm -hmm. um, how did this story impact you on a, on a, on a, on a, on a personal level? Uh, in terms of, okay, this story needs to be told to the masses. But you know, there's all types of inspirational stories, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that uh, someone uh, like yourself, you know, hears different types of stories, right? But there was something about Blue, right? And, and just real quick, it was interesting because a few other people that I talked to involved with the film, they always say it was the moment when they sat down and talked to Don Wallace, mm -hmm. right? And they say, when I sat down and I talked to Don Wallace and I looked him in his eye, right, and we talked about it, then that's when I knew I wanted to be a part of this project. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess, I guess to, to bring the question home is, um, 
factoring in Don Wallace's personal presence, and then the story itself, mm -hmm. connecting those pieces, um, how important was it for you to see that this film just be the best that it could be? Um, two things. First, Don Wallace, the man, yes. love the death. Yes. Um, regardless of this film or any other film, yes. because of his spirit, yeah. I'm in. Okay, awesome. um, so let's take it away from Blue for a second. Just okay. on, on that premise alone, yes. I'm there. Yes. Uh, in terms of watching the film, if the film wasn't something that I felt represented me, right. my people, and a global effect of what our people have been going through and what people need to understand about us, right. then right. that wouldn't have been involved regardless of who was involved. Okay. So I wanted to be clear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very clear. <laughs> very clear. Very so clear. So it all boils down to the product, no matter how you slice it. Okay. And you know, one of the things with myself and my partner, Mark Pierce, is we've always wanted to be a part of things that elevated our people, um, mm -hmm. stories that give you this sensibility of not only again like self, but also about you know the, the depth. It, it's all about the depth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Digging deep into to, uh, the pages reading between the lines not allowing the lines to dictate what the story is oh, wow. but walking away from those pages and understand that you have to deliver something to make people see what it is you're trying to tell them wow. it's a difference than me reading it to you you have to see it right so just because it's on the pages doesn't mean that it's going to actually be represented in the big screen okay that's the thing in the story that motivated me that's the thing that gave me that trajectory to say i want in Right. Because the actors read between the lines and gave me a visual understanding of what the depth of this story is. Right. And the depth of the story to me is redemption. Right. Coming from the projects okay. Okay. and elevating myself to where I am today, yes. that's my story. I can relate to that. Right. Just like any other brother or sister, white, black, Asian, across the globe, we all come from that level of understanding of ourselves that we want to come up from where we are. No matter where you are, you always want to rise above it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And as a people, I think that that's one thing that, you know, stories today aren't telling as far as films are concerned. Okay. This does that. Yes. So it represented that for me, and that's why I got involved. Right, right. And, um, when, when, you know, when I watched the film, that's one of the things that gripped me the most was, was the way it was told, the way uh, uh, Don Wallace portrayed the character. It was... Uh, what I've heard from a lot of people is that it, it just comes across so genuine. Right. You know, it's like you really believe that Don Wallace is Gary Blue. I guess what well, a lot of people, you know, in the LAH audience would like to know, okay. um, you being a producer and, and things like that, um, how, how did you get your start in, uh, you know, going into film production and, and, and things like that? Um, I think there was a natural progression. I spent 20 years in the music business. Um, uh, I've worked with some of the greatest. I've worked with some of the worst. <laughs> and, 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 you know, in between it all, I think that I was able to, you know, uh, elevate myself and, and my team to a place of, of existence. You know what I'm saying? And we did that on hard work, dedication, and, and moral fiber. Um, you know, we, we don't sell our souls for the sake of a dollar. It's not about that. You know what I'm saying? Money's going to come by the grace of God. Um, but ideally, from the standpoint of just being a man, um, I think that it's important that you understand your values mm -hmm. and you stand on those words. Right. And for me, the value of, of anything that I put my hands into, it definitely has to be reciprocal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, and this was reciprocated in a way beyond my beliefs, just based on the feedback that we're getting, yes. you know what I'm saying, when people sitting down, you know, watching this thing yes. on that big blue screen and saying, hey, this is an amazing piece. Huge. And, you know, knowing what we've done with the next cut and how we've elevated the film, and they're watching a cut that, that hasn't, you know what I'm saying, even got to that point yet. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing thing. So I feel good to know how we now have this thing moving. It's like the ship is... It's yeah. sailed. It's, you know, it's, it's no stopping us now. There's no turning around. Yeah. You know, there's no stop and go. It's press play. Yeah. I want to send you that.